Shamai Elite Chums, Titan Indra has been uh, broken, which means it's going to go into meltdown around about 2200 tonight. So you want to get there just to watch it, but you also want to get some materials from the Titan beforehand because all the um, uh, all the uh, Thargoids are fleeing, making it much easier to operate and get those materials in. But either way, you'll need a, a cool build, so something that will run at 20% um, in normal conditions, or you'll want to use heat sinks and a long-range thermal vent laser. I'll drop a, a link and a build in the description, but what we're looking for, for our anti-thargoid pulse field uh, materials, is a coarse hull surface. Now this is a green dot, it's quite small, but it should stand out against the red unless you're colorblind. Um, you just hit it with the abrasion blaster, um, and then you'll send out your... Um, your limpets. So I'll have at least four limpets on any build you use. Ideally more. I've got. I could have seven, but they keep or eight, but they keep dying. Um, so that's why you want to have plenty of limpets rotating there. You can use a thermal vent laser to uh, blast the fragments off, but it is much less efficient. And um, yeah, keep on using your thermal vent laser as well to keep cool while they're collecting. And bit while you're looking for the next target, which is right in front of, front of us, you can use a left-hand panel uh, if you get that up and look at targets to find the coarse hull surface. And you'll get the hardened surface fragments um, from uh, this this phenomenon. So that's one material you can get from the heart, from the Titan. Another one is going to be the heat exposure specimen. So if you go to the heat vents, you'll find that some heat vent abrasions on there. Again, they might be hard to find at first, so use your left-hand panel and you find targets, um, heat vent abrasions, hit them with the uh, abrasion blaster and your limpets will do the rest. Um, also, watch out for the heat vent. It's, it emits a lot of heat, so do not fly into the middle of it because that will heat you up. And if it's a, a live Titan that you're doing this on, the Fargoids will get you and destroy you. Um, so you want to stay cool on a live Titan. Um, we have the final um, specimen that we're going to be looking at. is uh, It's going to be the launch tube membrane. So it's tricky to find. Um, so again, use that left-hand panel to find it because uh, this is probably the most difficult I've found anyway. And we found a big array of them. And they're right next to the launch tubes. So you're going to get Thargoids coming out of those launch tubes. Um, so watch out for those and stay cool for that reason because they will obviously target you. Um, better to do it in that when it's in cool, in it's in this meltdown phase when it's about to give up. And um, as you can see, we just blast away with the abrasion blaster yet again. So um, once we uh, finish this, it should take you about, I'd, I'd probably prepare about an hour to get enough of the coarse, um, sorry, the hardened surface fragments um, to give you the Ramtar stuff. You'll also need the caustic crystal as well from the Titan. One of, one of my other videos do, deals with that. I'm just doing the stuff that's on the Titan hull itself. Caustic crystal you can get um, at any point. And the tactical ch core trip is a chip is a, is a tricky one. There are other YouTube videos that deal with that one as well, so search for them. If you've got any questions, drop them down below, um, but everything's in the description that isn't uh, covered on here, and hopefully it will help you, so do drop a like if you found it useful, but thank you very much for watching, and have a most excellent day collecting your um, fragments on the Titan. Thank you.